The second subclass for the Titan is Defender. It is unlocked when you reach level 15. It has a very heavy focus in support and defense based abilities and bonuses. It is considered to be a void damage based subclass, but there is a much greater focus on defense and support. Let's take a look. First up are grenades. You get access to either magnetic, spike, or suppressor grenade. Magnetic grenade will attach itself to an enemy and explode twice. Spike Grenade attaches itself to any surface and unleashes damaging Void Light damage, and Suppressor Grenade prevents enemies from using abilities for a short time. Your movement skill is once again Lift, and the options are the same as the Striker subclass. You get increased height to lift you higher, increased control for better aerial directional control, or Catapult which gives you a large initial burst of momentum. The Defender Super ability is Ward of Dawn, which generates an indestructible void light shield to protect yourself and your allies. Upgrades available are Armor of Light, Blessing of Light, or Weapons of Light. Armor of Light grants significant damage resistance while inside the shield. Blessing of Light grants a temporary shield when you or your allies pass through the shield, and Weapons of Light grants temporary bonus weapon damage when you or your allies pass through the shield. Your melee attack is Disintegrate, if you kill an enemy with this attack, you will generate a force barrier around yourself which absorbs incoming damage. You can upgrade Disintegrate with one of the following. War Machine, Gift of Light, or Unbreakable. War Machine makes your weapons reload and ready incredibly quickly while Force Barrier is active. Gift of Light makes your kills have a chance to generate orbs of light while your Force Barrier is active. Unbreakable makes your Force Barrier continually recharge. The Titan Codex stat upgrades are the same as the Striker subclass. You can pick from one of each column. Codex 1 grants bonus armor and recovery. Codex 2 grants bonus armor and agility. Codex 3 grants bonus recovery and agility. Codex 4 grants bonuses to all attributes. Codex 5 greatly boosts recovery. And Codex 6 greatly boosts agility with a slight boost to armor. The first passive bonus column consists of Bastion, Relentless, and Gift of the Void. Bastion increases the duration of Ward of Dawn. Relentless increases the duration and strength of the Force Barrier Shield created by Disintegrate, and Gift of the Void makes Ward of Dawn generate additional orbs of light when Ward of Dawn takes damage from enemy fire. The final upgrade column consists of Untouchable, Iron Harvest, and Illuminated. Untouchable reduces the cooldown of your Ward of Dawn. Iron Harvest makes your heavy weapon kills have a chance to generate orbs of light for your allies. And Illuminated increases the benefits granted by Blessing and Weapons of Light. You can then lock in your subclass for an additional boost to armor. Defender is a great support class and will be incredibly vital for endgame play. The ability to simultaneously increase defenses and offensive capabilities will be very important. For a more damage focused support PvE build, go with Magnetic Grenade, Your Choice of Jump, Weapons of Light, War Machine, Titan Codex 1 and 5, Bastion, and Illuminated. This build gives greatly increased damage for yourself and your allies with Illuminated Weapons of Light with Bastion, and once more for yourself via War Machine. If defense is more your thing, try Spike Grenade for zoning out enemies, Your Choice of Jump, Blessing of Light, Unbreakable, Titan Codex 1 and 4, Bastion for team defense or Relentless for solo defense, and Untouchable. This build brings powerful shielding to your team and yourself. The reason I've decided to stay away from the Chance for Orbs of Light skills is because I'd rather have guaranteed conditions and we don't know the percent chance of those orbs generating. If they end up having a pretty high rate of generating, then we'll revisit this build at a later time. That sums up the Defender subclass that we got to see in the beta. If you're a Titan fan and you missed the Striker subclass, go check that out next. If you're looking for something with a little more firepower, go check out the Warlock's Sunsinger subclass. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.